Hello! Welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion, I'm Auntie Chan. I'm Darby. And I'm Alexis P. Bevels. The P stands for polka dots. That was easy. Polka. Yeah! Polka. Did you have to learn polka and like line dancing and square dancing when you were in elementary school? Oh, I yes. Sure did. McGraw Hill sponsored yes. line dancing. The Cotton Eye Joe that? was the thing. There's a 99% invisible on it, and I forgot. I listened to it, and I went, I can't believe this. And I think it's because I couldn't believe it. My brain shut it Maybe off. Maybe it was to learn, like, how to act, interact in a social setting. How to interact dance. while square dancing. Yeah. Fancy a dance. How to have sure, fun. Sure, absolutely. Okay. And I go to the left and go to the, no, don't talk to me. And go mm. to the right. What is my foot doing? No, no, don't, don't you talk to me. Lead, you just know? lead. You know? It's like who leads, who follows. It oh. helps them figure out what sex is going to be like. Oh. oh. I did find out it was a We're trying to teach the kids. Yeah. <laughs> it's important. Sex education. Swing your partner round and round. They can't Push their it. head down to the ground. <gasps> Insert. No. Insert what? You Insert. You said you knew how to bottom from that. Did y'all ever have to do? Did y'all? Yes, did y'all ever have to do manners class? Did you probably have to do this? No. Like manners, like what the forks and the spoons do. Oh like, no, we did like, like social skills. Eat. Like we did classes of like how to he JB. take no as an answer. How to oh, politely reject. Our when when we did it, it was like you know outside in silverware, and I remember we had the. You best. did that in public school. Yeah, in like the fourth grade. Ugh. And I remember the soup was this bomb ass broccoli and cheddar soup, and I've never had a one as good. Yes, you have. Panera You've been to bread. Panera. Panera cares. I gotta be Panera honest. I don't like Panera. Care. I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest with my sister. I don't Pompous. like Panera. Yeah. <laughs> Far Look, too good it. for soup. I do Panera. I know. I I didn't say I'm too good for it. I said I don't like it because I went on a date with a guy once, and he worked there, and then he Did goes you hear that. She doesn't like people who used to work at Panera. <gasps> I'm sorry. Well, I don't like people. Classes. Wow. I don't like people who ghost me, who worked at Panera. Oh well, oh. just be, I mean, but just be aware that like that that is my plan on this ending. It's just I just, <laughs> just stop answering. A ghost? Yeah, you just appear one day. <laughs> Have a good. It. No response. You Gone try to sign into Patreon and your password doesn't work. <laughs> and you're like, what is happening? Where's she been? Show up to your apartment. It's cleared. <laughs> yeah. Gone. I, I will go Gone, underground. Gone girl it. too. Now I know typically what we do when we start these episodes is we talk about our lives and we check in and we say, hey ladies, yeah. how are you doing? But I don't, you know what? It's time for us to look outside of ourselves. We need to be selfless because this week was a big week for someone who deserved it. Let's put ourselves on the back burner, we want people to have uh, their I feel like I know where this is, who we're celebrating. Jeff Bezos went to space. That girl. Yes! <laughs> she got pumped and went she straight to pumped. space. Girl. That filler was full. It was full. It was full. Her glass eye was like looking forward. <laughs> <laughs> they fixed that too. Wait, right. I wonder what happens to filler in space, because aren't you supposed to like massage it and stuff? Well, luckily he was only in space for 10 minutes, so. Is that what happened? Yeah, bitch. I've they shot a dick attention. into the air, and it kind of floated <laughs> around suborbital, which means not space, if we're being real. Well, actually, I don't know. I'm not an astronaut. I don't believe in science. And then it flew around for like 10 minutes, and then they launched out and fell back to Earth. Wait, so he didn't even so get didn't to, to space. experience like paralyzed. You know, when you come back and you're paralyzed? What? What? When you come back from space, you can't move. You know that feeling? Because you haven't been doing your muscles or whatever. Is that... Real? Yes. I don't. Okay. I've That's seen, why haven't you I've seen, seen Gravity? Apollo thirteen? Well, no, no, no they one came back. <laughs> no one came back. <laughs> yeah, they did. Apollo thirteen, they lived. You're thinking Armageddon. Have, Have you seen, seen Gravity? That? Yes, of course. That's why she like it's hard for her to swim up to the top. Spoiler, because her her legs, her muscles, or whatever. <gasps> she cut, she has to cut her arm off in that movie. Yeah. And she has to throw it. The no, no, no. She that, that's that, a common misconception. She saves that football player, though. That's the movie Forty Eight Hours. Mm. He he cuts his arm off. The first Forty Eight are so important. Yeah. Oh my God. So anyway, Jeff Bezos went to space. Congratulations. We're so proud of you. That eighteen. They wanted to brag. Who was the first eighteen-year-old in space? I don't care. I know. At eighteen, you know what I did? Yeah. Voted. Ooh. Jeff Bezos. Where's is my tweet? That's, that's that's good. That's, that's your responsibility. Convenient. Yeah. It was convenient. Was your civic duty? Which president did you vote for? I don't know if that's important. <laughs> I'm kidding. Eisenhower. <laughs>
I liked it. He had good ideas. He had good ideas. You liked Ike. I liked Ike. It was McCain, huh? Did you imagine if Al Gore won? Oh, we wouldn't have climate change. Wait, uh, the world would be fixed. Uh, Listen. The world be like. I know the I know the Clintons are sneaky. I saw that on TikTok. But I think Gore would have been a good president. And are you kidding? First Lady Tipper? I don't know her. You always explain her name to you we'd have to explain her name forever. Oh, and First Lady Tipper Gore and then little kids who are learning about her for the first time go, What? Tipper? Like, yeah, tip that's her name. Tipper. Like tip your queen's tipper? Like yeah. Tip, you tipped the cow. <laughs> tip her over. That's you know, funny. Do you know that cows play with balls? And that's, that's why you're that's never why supposed eat to eat them. Because they look yeah. too happy. It's important. Remember that. I love to, by the way, everyone that sends me tweets or tags me in tweets of cows doing really sweet things. Thank you so much. Now the people who tag me in stuff of chickens doing sweet things, <laughs> I don't see it. it won't, <laughs> my, phone won't, my phone won't play it. <laughs> So, can, good try. Can I piggyback on that PSA and say yeah. to the wonderful people tagging me in things about cum and sending <clears throat> messages about cum, keep it up, babes, because yes. that brightens my day every damn time. It sure does. It's so fun. I love a Nicki Minaj verse. That's what yeah. they'll tag me yeah. in. Yeah. Ooh, barbs in space. Can you believe that people tag us and stuff? Isn't that so cool? Oh, I love being tagged. Thought of. Don't ever expect me to like acknowledge it though. I get very nervous. Oh, uh, yeah. But I, I mean, on the same note, you, <laughs> your, your love of the stars and you know and witchcraft. Mm -hmm. I got this nail kit. Okay, listen. That's I, I saw it on Instagram, but I didn't buy it from the company that advertised on Instagram because I didn't trust it. So I went yeah. to Google and I found a trustworthy company in Hawaii where all companies should be based. And <laughs> you like, you stamp. Replace the land with like factories. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Those volcanoes, they're producing energy. Now let's get some plastic inside. Oh. Do you know pineapples grow on the ground? Fields. Keep going. I need to see this. I need, I need to see this grow image. on the ground. No, they grow oh, they, like, pineapple. They, they, they pineapple trees? And they pull it out. Pineapple trees don't exist? They grow on the ground. What am I thinking of? Coconut apples. Coconut and apples, of course. I never forget about apples. Okay, but finish your nail kit, because I want to hear about Oh, that. but so it, there are these things, there are these little stamps. I saw people were stamping Shrek on their nails so perfectly, and I was like, I want that. I only got a couple stamper plates with my first order. <gasps> They're here? Yeah. Oh my god. I haven't gotten to do it yet because I've been trying to get my life together, but I got a horoscope <gasps> stamper plate. <gasps> Oh my god. Maniology. Yeah, isn't that oh, cute? Oh, cute. So I'm gonna make you some special things. Ah! I have to say, I so I was late to, to listening to your podcast. These are cute. But I finally listened to them. Thoroughly enjoyable. You enjoyed it? I That's loved great. it. Oh, you yeah. too. You, you and Rachel, friend of the pod, have such a fun... <coughs> oh! <laughs> You have such a fun rapport. I mean, it's what she said last time. I'm just echoing her compliment. But you have such a lovely relationship. And yeah, it's so we fun have to the get same to, like, speech patterns, and we laugh about the same things. And it's oh, didn't you see them in a comedy show last yeah, night? Yeah, yeah. So they were at the Lincoln Lodge. They were doing Ladylike, which is a great stand-up comedy show. Women in uh... Lincoln Lodge is iconic. Lincoln for Lodge. Comedians. Yeah, I thought yeah, it burned yeah. down. I think they moved. So this one is in Wicker Park. So this one. Hasn't burned down. This one hasn't something. burned down. Oh yeah, Lincoln Lodge on Lincoln burned down. Lincoln, all, oh, oh, is that the, mm -hmm. is that what happened? Yeah, it was on Lincoln oh, and what was that Irving Montrose? I don't remember because you know what it was. So John Wilkes Booth's family, they just mm. they're tired of the disrespect uh, on their family name, and they would and the Lincoln Lodge wouldn't have booths in there. Yeah, it was all only, open tables. All only open tables. Uh, so they did, in fact, uh, set fire to it. The fire actually did end up going out. They're not very good at setting fires, but there was no. an electrical fire and that, that did take care oh, of it. Oh, that's so sad. Well, you, you really have to check your wires. You know, the wires expire. You got a lot of wires dangling in here. And I have checked I've, some of them. When life gives you lemons, stick a fork in socket. Lemons also grow on trees. Lemons do grow on trees. I know that. Pineapple ground? Pineapple yeah, they like plants. twist it's it out of the... It's a very, very low shrubs. Dole. Right. And you, pineapple and you, bush? Is that yeah. what it's called? A pineapple bush? No, they're just... That's, the pineapple is the thing. Pineapple I mean, it's plant? the top. The top of the pineapple is what you're seeing above ground. Like, fruit is freaky. Mm. Like, the seed is there, and then, like, the meat... 
forms around it, and that's what we eat. Yeah. We're eating like a really horny plant. Ooh. Ooh. Speaking of meat and seeding, I just got back from Goodness. Camp It, which is a gay campground. Uh -huh. I performed there over the weekend, and I got so drunk that I vomed. Oh. oh dear. And that is why I'm drinking bubbly tonight mm -hmm. instead of red wine. Oh, Sounds I'm drinking like red weekend. wine because I had to hear the story about you vomiting. I just, I, I deserved a treat. Uh, you're, yeah. Yourself. Well, that's what I was up. You know, little comedy show, the camp. What were you up to? What's up? Oh, What's I'm up? still. I'm just. So now that I've I've redone the drag room, I redid the laundry room, and we're, we redid the bedroom. So I've just been like redoing everything in my house. You know what I think it is? I'm trying to escape the emptiness that I so easily find myself lost inside. Mm. You know, like when you wake up and you just think like, God, I wish I hadn't done that. Hmm. It's every day, we're gay. That you did in your dream? Yeah, but no, no, waking up at all. Oh. But you know, it's, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's just so fun. No, I have been working on a lot of house projects. And I'm, what are you doing? I just wanted to connect with you because that was really funny. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Connect. Okay. Four. Education. Well, the place looks beautiful. Thank you so much. It does look gorgeous. Thank yeah. you. Um, I mean, it always looks gorgeous, but I like that you're... Thank you. And I promise, I saw a lot of people on the comments in the last video saying, like, give us a room tour. I absolutely will. I just have a couple last things I'm waiting on to come in because I want it to look so Be perfect. Yeah. We're also celebrating your Your birthday, birthday is impending. It's my birthday week. Oh, shit. Yeah. My birthday's on Sunday, so you still have a few days to get all 37 of my presents together because I am turning 37, so yes. I do deserve yes, a present yes, for yes, every yes, year. Yes. It being my birthday week, I'm turning 37. I watched the episode of Pandora talking about ageism and drag. You felt seen. I felt seen, but I also felt uh, disrespected. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked at the phone. I was like, Pandora, it's my birthday week. Could you give me like just a moment where I don't have to think about how old I am? With that, should we get into it? Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of Pandora box, it is all stars. All, it is stars. all stars. It is the moment after Yara has left. Jan said, oops, I thought we were all voting one way. Turns out we weren't. And I was the only one voting the opposite. What'd you think of that? Classic Jan. Jan yeah. is overthinking this TV show. Classic Jan. You know what I say? I don't blame Classic her. Jan. I don't blame her, but she was the only person who voted for Akira. Jan's justification for it was, I thought everyone was going to vote this way. Based on track record. Based on track record. But now I look like the traitor. Like, no, just, just vote with whatever reason you have to vote and stick with it. And yeah, I don't need to explain to each other. Stuff. Why don't why didn't she talk to them? Or why didn't they talk yes. to her? Maybe yeah. that was part of the game within a game we've been hearing. About. I did enjoy game that when she was explaining it, like you just said, Kylie went in the background, I could hear Kylie go, just own it. Like just okay, yes. it's fine. Because you could tell no one really cared. Akira didn't even really oh. care. It was producers off to the side going like, make this drama, ooh, make this ooh. drama. But don't worry about it. This episode we've got a main challenge based on trauma, so you don't have to be too trauma. It is the pink table talk based on the iconic red table talk from Facebook video, <laughs> uh, as hosted by I the, the Pinkets. You don't watch the Jada no, Pinkett I do Smith. watch. Red you table. watch Red Table. No, I wasn't laughing at Red at Table. Facebook. I was laughing at Facebook. How um, that's a video channel now that exists. Oh, I watch. I watch Red Table. Red Table's good. It's really good. <laughs> It's also really fun to watch rich people talk about lives and, and I can connect to those lives and I go, oh, I'm rich now too. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm speaking not. as a mother, speaking as a sister, mm -hmm. as the wife of Will Smith. And haven't we all felt like that I relate at some point to that. in our life? We've they, all felt like this wife. Didn't they divorce? No, 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 no. They, they separated for a little bit, I think, and then there were rumors about openness, which like, you do you, who cares? They did open it up. Will and I had like a brief thing. We ended up breaking it off and it's not, it's not at all because of Jada. Like Jada was super cool about it. Oh, wow. It was just that in order for me to finish, I needed him to rap the entire Fresh Prince of Bel-Air theme song. Oh. And if he stopped at any point, before the final, final line as the Prince of Bel Air, I, I wouldn't finish. Okay. That's a lot of pressure on him and you both. Well, I wouldn't think it would be a lot of pressure. I mean, like, he's very, he's a very talented musical artist and I'm a very, I'm a very lazy bottom. I just thought it'd be a good match. It wasn't. So we get to the oh. pink table. <laughs> yes. Well, first we, they just kind of let them pick their own teams. They're like, mm -hmm. divide into teams. And, um, 
Sorry, go ahead. So we get to the pink tables. <laughs> There was a little bit of friction in that Scarlett and Ginger both wanted mom because Ginger mm -hmm. wants to become a mom, which like I see a girl she saying. She spoke from the heart. And right then there. Scarlett's like, I have two moms, which Raja didn't seem to know what that meant, which I really enjoyed. Because <laughs> she was like, you have two moms? What do you mean? I know it was just to keep the conversation going, but it was kind of funny to see a drag queen go, gay moms? How did they give birth to you? They flipped a coin, ended up, Scarlett got it. Oh, I think they did rock, paper, scissors. They flipped their rocks, their papers, and their scissors. Mm -hmm. And, you know, of course, Ginger chose... Rock. And then, of course, Scarlett. Oh, She chose paper. That college she, ruled, mama. She chose... <laughs> Actually, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Yeah. Whose idea was that? Paper covers rock? Yeah. If you're in a fight, you're saying you want paper over a rock? If someone's holding a rock up, you go, hang on a second, I got some... Hang on, I got college rule. No, 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 It's pap it means papier mache. Because if you papier mache over something, it's actually strong. Oh, it turns it it gay. Stronger. Mm. Turn rock gay. Can I just say Scissors LOL at the logic of, I have two moms, so I should be the one to get it? <laughs> like, kinda, isn't that kind of funny logic? No, yeah, like, it's kind of bragging at that point too. Like, oh, I, got I, got a, I got a more moms than you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of messed up, actually. It's like, I want to be a manicurist, so I think I should do nail painting. And then, Scarlett saying, well, I have two nail colors, so I should do it. That's not, a, I was just looking at your nail things. Oh yeah, that was, that, that was, was not, tough. That was weak. I'll make, I'll hang more interesting things on my wall for next week. I apologize. That was my fault. Yeah, that was your fault. That was my fault. But isn't that kind of weird logic? Like, I saw a little bit of reason in that argument. There's not a lot that Scarlett is connecting to the audience with. So I think she's like, well, this makes me different. Like, I really want to highlight this. This is a perfect way to highlight it. So mm -hmm. I got that. But yes, the logic was... It just made me LOL. And it made me go, WTF? Do kids still say that? Okay, the three categories, I'm sorry, were mom, sex, and Body. body. Which one would y'all want? Which one do you think you have the most experience with? I'll probably do sex. Yeah, me too. Sexy. I think I'd yeah. do sex. What am I going to talk I've about in body? Life. What am I going to talk about in motherhood? I would say for my body, I'd say <coughs> I have bad knees. That would be my one talking point. For motherhood, I'd say, yeah, my mom's work. She's cool. But you also want to be a mother. You could talk about that. Oh, true. Yeah, but I've had sex with more mothers than I have actually become a mother. So I think sex would be <gasps> Okay. Good. Oh. Good what would counter. You do? I guess I would do body. Body, body. Is giving body? me body. Body, body, body. Actually, is giving me body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe I would do like, to get more body in your hair, use Pantene Pro-V. Or whatever. Oh. So you go home. So then, of course, our first group is Eureka, Trinity, and Akiria. And it is a spirited, fun, breezy, breezy, easy breezy time. I loved it. I agree. I loved watching them. They all had their moments. Mm -hmm. They were all able to like talk with each other on the same level, but not over talking, which is what Eureka has run into in the past. I thought it was really well done. Mm -hmm. I have to say, Eureka as the moderator. Solid choice. Yeah. Thought she moved it along really well. Yeah, we had some really interesting revelations. Trinity talking about living with HIV mm -hmm. and what that does, the stigma around it, and also not at all doing it in, in face. That's something we talk about, I feel like, a lot, as just as drag queens in general, like, hey, have you ever hooked up and whatever. And of course, mm -hmm. we all have. Have you? I'm kidding, I know you have. have you Hooked up in drag? Yeah. Mm -mm. Really? Yeah, yeah, I've never. That'll come up. Will it? Maybe it won't. Will I be into that? I think you have too much confidence too. Self-respect. But when I, yeah, we were both just so desperate. Uh, well, I only say that because ours was, yeah. Yeah, ours was desperate. It was Desper Ubers. Desperation. Wow. Oh, Ubers, okay. But in Craigslist, may she Ubers rest. aren't the same anymore. But yeah, I, I thought it was really interesting. I saw on the internet, on Twitter, have you heard of it? I cannot remember who said it, I'm so sorry. But someone said they really appreciated the fact that Akiria used the term retransition instead of detransition to describe oh. transitioning back. Retransitioning. Retransitioning, because detransitioning, it sounds like you did something wrong and you're trying to fix something you did wrong. Uh -huh. But retransitioning is just, yeah, now I'm tr transitioning back to this other sex or this other gender. I didn't catch that. That's Isn't that interesting. Fabulous. Yeah. I thought that was so I'm learning. important. And the Trinity stuff, the HIV stuff, gay men in general need to view the status as something we all have. We all have an HIV status. It may be positive, it may be negative, but we all are mm -hmm. living 
in this community with HIV as part of our DNA, really, as yeah. a community, there's still a lot of phobia surrounding it. And I was really happy that yeah. Trinity said, I'm undetectable and untransmittable. untransmittable. Yeah. Very important to hear that. Or non-detectable, non-transmittable, mm -hmm. whichever, non or un. But that was that was really uh, yeah. sweet to hear. And so Eureka, what did yeah. Eureka talk about? She talks about body, body, and just having sex and loving all of her curves and swerves. Mm -hmm. That was really. It did make me laugh though when she was like, "There's a difference between finding a body sexy and then fetishizing it." Because she's like, sometimes mm -hmm. they're like, "Ooh, I love your big ass," and she's like, "Yeah," and then other times they're like, "You fat fucking slut, bitch." <laughs> <laughs> I've ever had people call me a stupid dumb bitch. I'm like, is this is this what we're doing? And then then my stepdad leaves, and it it gets a lot more positive. Overall, okay. Stepdad. What did you think about the overall idea of this challenge? Because I feel like a lot of people hated it, but as as a talk show where three of us talk, I loved it. True. I thought it was True. very what interesting. Did you call it? The IMHO challenge. <laughs> oh! That challenge, you sit down, you, you have a little chemistry, you talk about a little bit of trauma, a little story time, bounce off each other's ideas. Why'd you point silly. at me when you said trauma? Did I point at I was pointing at the makeup stage. Oh yeah, that's a yeah, traumatic yeah, area. Yeah. You're correct. I appreciated the idea behind it. The, the, the issue I have with these kind of challenges on Drag Race is just, it's never quite clear we want you to be a clown. We want we want to laugh all the time. Right. And then they want a sudden shift. Because when Rue announced it, she even ended with, and we want to be entertained. Which makes me think, perform clown, make me laugh. You know, you're the drag queen that I scream laugh at. And then these challenges where they're just supposed to turn all of that off and really... Trauma. Yeah. I, I kind of view it as... We're looking for the all-star. You need to be fully well-rounded. Can you go on The View and carry yourself well? And True. carry the, the brand on who's well? There, you know what honest. I mean? If Megan McCain's there, absolutely. We get along really well. <laughs> <laughs> you love that hair. Oh, oh my God. The and she does knots, this. And she the, does this. And it goes over here. The braids. And, and then she, yeah, and she's like lower taxes. White girl magic. Local government. Mm -hmm. I love that shit. <laughs> Next group, we're talking about moms. We got Scarlett talking about her two mothers because she's yeah. qualified, more qualified too. Wait, because she, she is two. too. She's she twice, she's as, many twice as many as a lot of other people. Mom. Now that would have been a fun bit. I know this wasn't a bit moment, but I think that'd be really funny if her whole thing was every time they made a comment about a mom, she goes, well, I've had that, but I've also had another experience because I have two. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wasn't done actually because uh, there's one more story. There's another story. Because I have yeah. another mom. They're both named Sherry. Right? Yes. The two moms named Sherry. That's crazy to me. That is crazy. That's crazy yeah. to me. Could you date someone with your own name? I matched with this account on Tinder called Paul, and then it was like two people in the bio was, we're both Paul. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the only thing in the bio. I loved it. We're Very both then. Paul. We're both Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Do you Paul? We are Take Paul. Auntie Chan. Do you Paul? Take Auntie Chan. Uh, we're both Paul we're and both we do. Paul. Yes. I would not be able to date mm -mm. someone with my name. No. That'd get weird. I mean, it is one of those things, like, Curtis and I have been together 10 years, so we never say each other's names, unless we're mad at each other. It's usually just babe, babe, hey, hey, come dump. You know, like that kind of pet <laughs> names. So I don't think it would be that big deal. But yeah, <gasps> first, it would be yeah. real weird. Especially down. introducing, I'm Drew, this is my partner, Drew. That'd be awkward. And then you're uh, meeting the parents, like, that's kind of weird for them, because they're like, oh, I got a name... I gotta call yeah. my in-law or my But that's why, you know, that's why I say you do not need a good relationship with an in-law, okay? They like the drama. They want the drama. They expect the drama. Mm. So if I came in, actually, first time I met Curtis's parents, I introduced myself as Curtis. That's funny. Just to fuck with them. <gasps> that's I'm funny. Curtis. And they said, oh, really? And I said, I'm about to ruin your Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> and I did. A menace. I did. I did date an Alex in middle school for like five minutes. Oh, but she wasn't five cute. Minutes. It was a girl. She was Canadian. Oh. Oh, so she was very school friendly. She said, sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, I sorry, can't really. date anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, we, had a, we had a brief tryst on my trampoline. Mm -hmm. Just kisses. Just kisses. And then another like day. 
we dated. But then the bell rang and then, have y'all ever kissed anyone on a trampoline with those net walls around it? It's magical. Are you bragging? <laughs> yeah. Cause I, I don't have a lot to brag about. <laughs> Has your middle school bully ever put his tiny little needle dick inside of a pool jet in front of you before? Not needle Mine dick. Has. What? <gasps> My middle school bully, the guy who punched me in the chest. <gasps> in choir class. Docs. That's funny. Say his name. Oh, bitch, no, I saw someone on Twitter posting about their middle school bully, like making fun of their middle school bully. So I was like, oh, I wonder what my middle school bully's up to. <gasps> bitch, I find him on Facebook. He is in uh, like a military uniform. He's holding uh, like the black line cop. Oh, God. Ooh, American lives flag. Black Lives Matter. Or, yeah. And he's like in front of a truck. And I was like, Gross. Of course. Anyway, yeah, well, because my brother was friends with him, and so he had to be friends with me because I came You're with the, yeah, I came with the, the brother. And we went to his pool once, and I remember he kept sticking his tiny little needle dick in the jet. Because you know those jet stream things are like that big. Why would, he why is like, he, no, you're supposed to put your booty hole against it. Well, so he's <laughs> learned that since. Okay. So he has, he has grown. My middle school boy's name, also Alex. Different Alex. Really? Yeah. He killed a frog. Oh, monster. Me, yeah. <gasps> oh my god. You know, that's like, that's, killing animals is a sign murder's the next. I, Human that murder. That makes sense. Yeah. His parents didn't seem to love him very much, so I think that's where that came from. Oh, well, you know, that's the thing. If you don't hug your kids, they kill frogs. Mm-hmm. And he stole my kushling. Remember kushlings? Yes, of course. He stole one, and then he crucified it and put it in my locker. That's a sick person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kylie was the moderator for mm -hmm. this one. Yeah. Which I thought was an odd choice, and so did her group, just saying like, oh, or Scarlett, saying like, you know, you the judges do say you are quieter, and, and she is. She's a... She's soft-spoken. She's soft-spoken. Soft I don't know that it, it worked, really. No, but mm -hmm. I will say she really had one of the most touching moments of the episode mm -hmm. when she said that line about your inner child. She's uh, to your Raja. Mm -hmm. Don't yeah. let don't let your hurt inner child make your adult decisions. Yeah, or whatever. that hurt child inside you make your adult decisions. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah. No, that's you gotta pay a lot of money to hear. And that I kind would drink chocolate milk all the time because I want to. Yeah, because I want <laughs> chocolate milk. I don't want to drink it. Oh my God, your inner child loves chocolate milk. It, it, the child was told no. Yeah, so many true. times you are getting white milk. I do. I want who I love white milk. Don't even start. <laughs> I had a, a moment in the grocery store the other day where I was walking down the like chip and candy kind of aisle. Yeah. And I was just walking down it because it was the only free aisle. And I was like, I just wanted to get to the front. I was walking through all of these snacks that I would have begged, kicked and screamed for. And I was like, I have money. Mm -hmm. I could buy this right now. Mm -hmm. I didn't because I don't, I don't want to die, but I wanted to. Wow. But I liked, I was, it was a, a moment where that inner <gasps> child went, Get some chips. And I said, shut up, faggot. You were like, what would you say <laughs> to little Drew? So, you will have the money. You will have ah, the money. money. <laughs> if you want chips. If you want real Coke and not RC. Yeah, I, 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 if I had to have a, a pink table talk with anyone, though, I think Kylie would be my choice to talk to, though. Like, yeah. she, Wisdom. that is a girl who has lived and has a lot of, I love that shit. Like on TikTok, do y'all ever get on TikTok and you get the people who share those little moments of like, I don't know if this will help you, but this helps me. And they say something and then you talk about it all day and you're like, it's just a TikTok, but it changed my life. But it changed your life. This one, oh, okay, thank you so much for bringing that up. Okay, this one, this, this woman says, the thing that, the phrase that changed her life the most was, or no wait, it's this woman who died, don't let anything hang on to you. You're just here to experience it and let it pass through you. Let it pass through you. So that annoying like person. It's, oh, it's like kidney stones. Wait, what? <laughs> like kidney stones, yeah, of course. It should be painful, absolutely. <laughs> no, but like it, if there's like a, a situation that really is upsetting you and you, you walked away and you know you think about it and you're like, fuck, I should have said this or I should have done that or like, can't believe they did that. Oh my gosh. Let it pass through. Through you. I have the biggest problem it works. with that. I let it behind you. With through what? You. Letting things go, like things I wish I would have said. <gasps> you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. Do you have one in your head right now? Well, the one that always comes, I'm sure I've told it on this show a million times, but the teacher called me to write something on the board, and then one guy was like, You write like a girl. And then I just like kind of cried. I wish it would have been like, 
can you can read you it? read it? Yeah, that's not a good one though. Like saying, can you read it? That's not good. That's like you've had years to think about it, and that's your you write like a girl. Can you read it? Okay, let me let me finish. This is how it goes. <laughs> this is how it goes in my head. Okay, can you read it? Then say yes. Yes. Then shut the fuck up. Mm. That's oh, setting with me, yeah. Okay. You know what? Can you that imagine this? Oh, wait, I got one. 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 It was a tweet or something like that. Or something. It was, I think it was text. But it was like, when someone apologizes to you, you should accept it. Not to get even, but because you deserve peace. You deserve to be relaxed from that. Mm. You don't have to forget, but you deserve peace. When someone does you wrong. God, I don't know if that passed through me. You know, oh. I have one. I have one. Oh, do it. Deserve peace. Do you want to be right? Or do you Shut want to the be fuck happy? up! <gasps> I paid a twenty-five dollar copay really, to hear that. I really like that. Though. It's the same energy as let it pass through you. Yeah. Like everything is just like okay. I have one that uh, that remind me. I saw a tweet. Okay, it was about misgendering someone. Like if you use the wrong pronouns. I saw somebody say, and this was like mind blowing to me. Don't apologize because then you are prompting the person to say, it's okay. Like you're prompting them to mm. forgive you mm. when that may have been difficult for them. Instead, just say, thank you. You just want to acknowledge it. And the other person yeah. doesn't have to suddenly say, oh no, 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 I don't want you to feel bad. Thank you. And it's okay to be corrected. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that interesting? That's really good. I like, I like hearing thank you as opposed oh. to, sorry, oh, I like that. That, Thank you. Because the, Thank you. the person who corrected you doesn't need to like validate your feelings. So if you say, I'm sorry, what's your natural reaction to that? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Yeah, you bitch. <laughs> oh, oh wait, wait, no, you're- That's true. No, 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 I like that one. That was good. <laughs> That's accepting peace. That's accepting your peace. peace. I've accepted my peace, you bitch. You bitch. <laughs> mm. So Scarlett has two. Raja doesn't have the greatest relationship with her mom. She's actually struggling of, of, about how much she should say. That's tough. That's that was tough. Sad, yeah. But it was a very touching moment. I like Raja a lot. Me too. And I'm, she's killing this season. Yeah, well, she's showing more of herself. I will say the next day, sorry to skip ahead, but the next day when Raja was diving more into it mm. and saying she was thinking about, oh my God, did I say too much? Did I hurt my relationship with my mom? And then she started crying and was like, I just want to have that close mother-son relationship again, or I want to be close to my mom again. I was like, bitch, that's what you should have done on the pink table. You would have won that. I mean, I'm glad you, you practiced your, you got, you got it all out and you, processed it the way you had to. Mm -hmm. But, ooh, that would've been good if she'd done it on a pink table. It was also very refreshing to see someone on TV have that thought outwardly of, Did am I, I putting out too much? Cause yeah. on all the reality shows I watch, they don't give a fuck. Mm. Or they don't say enough. Mm. This was a nice mm. middle ground. This was. Mm. 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 And then our final group, mm -hmm. body, yada, yada, uh, yada, 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 body. Yeah. we had Jan, Ginger, Ginger, Pandora. and Pandora Box. Pandora Box was talking about her pre-twink <laughs> era. Her age, think before ageism, you twink, ageism. ageism. Now I did, <laughs> I did relate to this a lot. You are still a twink. Yeah. You cannot be a twink at 37. You just can't. Yeah. Oh my God, look at my hole. That's not a twink hole. What? It's still in there. It's still oh, pink it is and still tiny. In there. Thank you so much. It's coin a coin slot. slot. You know what? You just got to run a scene <laughs> through that and just like tighten it. And you got to go to the pool, put it up against that jet. Oh no, I put my needle dick inside of it. <laughs> my bully had one thing right, okay? Oh. <laughs> I agree with the judges when they were like, when I think it was the hilarious Ross Matthews who said this, we didn't get your side of how you felt about it. I did want to hear more from Pandora about like how that affects her because as it was myself, it may seem trivial to some people, but when that is such a huge part of your identity in your first group where you feel welcome and you have a very specific role in that group, to lose that role, it does fuck with your mind. I wish she had delved a little further into it so that us twizzes, it could be shown that it's not just about being skinny. It wasn't just like when she said, oh, well, I misplaced my abs. Like, yeah, that is a funny thing that we think as, as twizzes. It's for me, the kind of whole thing I've been thinking about Pandora this whole time is, 
whenever we see her in a talking head or she talks at all, it's kind of these like rehearsed jokes. They're very well delivered, but yeah, exactly. There wasn't, there wasn't kind of that realism that we got a lot with the first group. It, it seemed just kind of like, now I'm gonna say something mm -hmm. and look at the camera because mm -hmm. I'm Pandora Box. When uh, Jen kept saying, that's what, that's the vulnerability the judges are looking for. I was like, stop saying, saying that. that. I know. Please stop saying that. So that it's, it's you'll like, never make fetch work. Yes. That's what it was. Yes. It's um, also a little inside baseball. Yeah, that was so Like, that's funny to say behind the cameras. Yes, but like to say it on camera is kind of like, you're trying really hard to impress these judges. Yeah. yeah. It's like, that's not what they're here for. They're here for you to just exist. And if they like it, they like it. If they don't, they, you just move on. You just let it pass. Which, so. pass through you. Pass through Which you. is what the judges said, and I do kind of have to agree that she was at 110% the entire time. That's not what this challenge was. Ooh, no, no, no. I appreciated her, her point of view. I appreciated hearing her talk about how the fans talked to her when she'd go live and they'd mm -hmm. comment on her weight, and that yeah. is like a fucked up thing. And she could have just talked about like, yeah, how social media gives us body dysmorphia and we mm. um, are so toxic with uh, our beauty standards because of the internet. She's an internet girl. And Ginger too, Ginger talking about how there's so many people that go into her DMs to remind her that she's fat. I feel like it's only recently in Drag Race world we're actually hearing them talk about the bullying of Drag Race fans to the queens. Well, yeah, I mean, yes, thank you. But as an adult, can you really get bullied by a kid? Just don't look at it. Is that crazy of me to say? <laughs> <laughs> the issue I think that I struggle with personally for me, part of me, social media is part of our job. It's part of our existence in this world. And so we do have to do it. It is easy to say, like, don't look at it, but you kind of have to. You never know I don't... what's going to be in those message requests. Mm. Sometimes it's a good opportunity. Other times it's people telling you to kill yourself. You just don't know. Mm, that could be a good opportunity. Good... <laughs> <laughs> Chan, actually Chan, last episode when you made the joke of like, leave your negative comments down um. below. It took the sting of a possible negative comment away. Like it, oh. it framed it in a way, for me, it framed it, pardon me, it framed it in a way that we, we said we're in on it before they said anything. I'm glad. It's the chart that we see all over Twitter. There's a lot of mental health stuff on Twitter. Well, we <laughs> all have mental health. We all have mental health. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's like, this wig is ugly. I feel ugly about myself. It's depression. This wig is ugly. It's camp. No depression. Yeah. Well, it's not ugly. It's, I, I was doing camp. It's camp. Ooh. It's camp. I was doing poopy poison. Cosplay. Pass the wig through. Pass the wig through. Me. Let it pass through. Yeah. Into her. Ginger was a stellar moderator. Yeah. Really great. And then when it all ended and the camera's panning away and we hear the music <laughs> playing and you just hear Ginger go, I didn't realize we were all so fucked up. <laughs> yes. yes. That's why she won $5,000. That was gold. Yeah. People, people are fucked up. People, you know what it is? We so all have up. mental health. We're all fucked up. And it's okay. Is Ooh. there a follow up tweet from Drag Race? Let me check that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got a notification today from Twitter, like I got a push notification that said, try following RuPaul. <laughs> yeah. My you were like, entire already... world is RuPaul. <laughs> Stop RuPaul. bullying me. You know what I did? I let it pass through me. Good. It did come back around a couple times because like the audacity of Twitter. Mm. Okay, seeing the Lady Like stand-up show yesterday, it was a really great closer. And uh, she closed with like, wow. We are all really fucked up people. Yeah. And uh, that was a delicious- Was it Ginger? It was Ginger Man, she goes oh, to Oh my God. God. Yeah. Before we get into the runway, ladies, mm -hmm. I did just kind of have a general thought and I do owe someone in this room an apology. In this room? It's in this JB. room. I have been very difficult on a particular contestant. There's probably a lot of jealousy in it. And this episode, not only did I fall in love with her, but I felt like if I was gonna be friends with anybody in this cast, it would be her. Like, I feel like she and I would vibe really well together. We both wanna be mommies. And so I just wanna say, Chan, I am so sorry that I put that like awkward energy between me and Alexis. You probably felt that because she's such a Ginger fan. That probably was really tough for you to have to sit in between us while she was like, feeling weird and I'm so sorry about that you know Do you forgive me here's the thing yeah 
Old me? No. Okay. I, no. Okay. But new me? If y'all have something between y'all, I'm just air. Because I'm letting it pass through me. Uh, where'd you hear that? Now, hold on. Where'd you hear that? Your therapist. Okay. Alexis. Your therapist taught me the other yes. one. You have no idea how much this pains me. I'm so sorry. I was so weird about Ginger so far this season. <laughs> she is, she feels like a friend. I'm obsessed with her. I want the best for her. And I really apologize that I said your opinions were very bad. I'm, I'm not saying that I don't feel that way, but I'm, I shouldn't have said it so often. Thank you for that apology. You know what I say to that? What? What do you say? Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, you bitch. asked her, you do you peace. say yeah, bitch? You, you couldn't peace. come up with yeah, bitch on your own? Maybe it is because I also have baby fever. Like, I just, ugh. I love Ginger Minch. Yeah. She's always been, like, top tier. She was at, you know, season seven, All Stars 2. She's always Which we been just really watched. good. <laughs> okay, Runway, I apologize. Runway. All right, Runway, let's start with RuPaul. Oh my God, that. RuPaul wore her promo look. Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw that on Twitter. Do you think that they took the photo that day? They're like, hey, do you want to do a promo look? And she's like, what's the look I got on right now? I get why she chose this, just to go ahead and run she with it. She looks amazing. She looked amazing. That yeah. wig is so right. Yeah. Oh. The dress is a beautiful the yellow. The wig looks like a drawing. The highlights, the low lights, mm -hmm. the mid lights, the back lights, the front porch. It was working. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I loved it. Yes. <laughs> the category, Patterns, mixed patterns, ah, clash, pattern. clash of the patterns. Let's get into these looks. I believe first up. Darby's giving clash of the patterns today. Thank you so much. I saw this dress on the internet and I hated it so much. I thought it was the most bizarre thing. Who made this? This is extra scraps, but it was $3. And so I said, <gasps> one day, one day I'll find a reason to wear it. And that today? And today is that day. Today is that day. Today's that day. I forgot to wear my Clash of the Patterns, so I'll wear it yeah, next time. Those are, those are, yeah, if I, do, if I do this, they're Clash, Hounds too. And this clashes with itself. This clashes, yeah, the, I mean, yeah. Um, it's not really patterns. It's like blocking, I guess, but yeah. Oh, you look stupid. Wow. Actually, that was cute. Yeah, put it inside. Oh. Now, wait a minute. That's not clashing. It looks good. Okay, so up first we have Trinity K. Bonet, and oh. Trinity K. is giving us Wakanda a tease. Stunning. What about when she was painting her forehead yellow and <laughs> was it Raja? When yeah, 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 someone. It was a Kiri. Yeah, Kiri was oh, like, yeah, yeah, so yeah. you're doing Spongebob. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It was cute to see them have a little kiki because Trinity said for the first episode, she was like, none of these girls are really my friends. So I hope she's got some lifelong sisters after this. Yeah, I, I think she does. Yeah, I thought she looked incredible. Yeah, this metallic print, gorgeous. Stunning. She didn't have a wig on. I wasn't mad at it. General note, the category is clash of the patterns. True. And there were a lot of people who came in just patterns. I did appreciate the people who really clashed their patterns. I like a literal interpretation yeah. at times. Uh, but no, she looks incredible. Yeah. The pattern is gorge. Eureka O'Hara, now, th mm. she looked amazing. This was a clash amazing. of the patterns. This was a beautiful gown. The shoulders I were mean, right. That's a pattern clash. This is a beautifully done. I, I do think she has like the, the fashions. Clothes. Yeah. That's just the best clothes. Yeah, it's really good. The makeup was really good. It was, that was solid. Mm -hmm. She's one of those people that plays the game of drag race very well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Next, let's talk about Scarlett O'Hara. Or Envy. Scarlett O'Hara is a fictional character. <laughs> Let's talk about Scarlett Envy. <laughs> Scarlett Envy is wearing uh, her grandparents' love letters. This was really pretty. Yeah, this was a really pretty it dress. It was gorgeous. It was also like kind of nautical vibes, like yeah, kind of fifties. Yeah, and it is a clash of the patterns, but like but the clash of love, taste. Do you ever have you all ever written love notes to anyone? Like platonic love notes, never like a romantic one. Like I'll write like a really sweet like card. One of my favorite notes I've ever gotten was from you. What? For Christmas one year you gave me this handwritten really sweet message and it's in my bedside table. I keep it next to my bed. It was so meaningful. You've I never written me more. anything important. Who did you write love notes to? In college I had a I had a dalliance with this cute guy and we had one class together and he would like Slip me like a little less a study guy. sometimes. You know that was just a study guy. No, it was like one was just <laughs> one was just a drawing of like a flower. He was very romantic. Okay. 
Oh, he died in that fire. A romantic type. No, 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 no. My mom found out I was gay because of love letters oh, with my boyfriend. Oh, that's She right. read all of my love letters. <gasps> Were they graphic? Well, that's not a love letter. That's a fuck letter. <laughs> Have you ever written fuck letter? <laughs> okay, no. Fuck letters, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. yes. I mean, we all, we all went to church. Yes. We just passed the time somehow. I loved it. I thought Scarlett looked incredible. Mm -hmm. What a what a great outfit to go out on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Strong way to end it. Raja O'Hara and oh. Raja came out with Mixed African Prince. Clash Stunning. of the Pattern. These Good were clash. a clash Stunning. of the pattern. Yeah. Even though technically they were clashing, they looked like they went together. Yeah. So yeah. 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 She looked it amazing. It looked like one complete costume. Let's talk about Pandora Box's costume. Sally. Yeah, Nightmare. Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. I wasn't a fan of it. I wasn't either. I appreciate it. Everything she does is really clean and polished, and all the lines are straight, and all the everything is great. It's technically good, but is it giving me the ooh the ah ooh, sensation? Ah, ah sensation? I don't think so. I don't know. Yeah, it's, I feel the exact same I think way. she's boxed herself into a certain kind of drag, and... I hope you feel good about that. It's like the only one I've come up with this episode. <laughs> Thank you for that, by the way. Uh, it's, to be honest, this might sound kind of me. It's very Halloween costume. I mean, I, it is. I appreciated that. Like, I appreciate when she turned around and we saw the little pattern on her butt that was very clearly Sally. I was like, oh, yeah, I love that you, you worked that into a higher version of the costume. But thank you for saying that. I couldn't really put it into words of like, it's clean. Yeah, it's clean. It's technically right. It's technically right. But yeah, there is something missing. Let's talk about Kylie's look. Now, I love how Kylie described this. She was like, if a bird fell in love with a fish, I was like, write that story. <laughs> write it down. Let me read I'd it. read that. <laughs> I would read that story. And put on a pink hat. And put it on a pink hat. I and love that shoes she that ended that. Loved. So a bird and a fish fall in love, right? It's crazy. And then we put on a pink hat. The end. <gasps> Uh, Noble Peace it. Prize. She's stunning. She does a runway. Yeah, Again, this is a really great. Like we said last week. Look. It's always very signature Kylie. Mm -hmm. Even if she hadn't come out, if they just rolled that out on a rack. Oh yeah, know. and her and her moderating look her was pink really table look cute. Was really cute. Uh, that wig, so right. So Jenny so Jones. So right. I, I, I could that. see you in a wig like that. Yeah. Oh, let's get to it. Right, okay, Neil Cavuto. Okay, okay. Up next we had Jan. Now, what did we think of Jan's? Jan focused patterns. most of her clash patterning on the bags. And I think without the bags, it wouldn't have been the runway challenge. Yeah. Can I see this? Yeah, please. I see the anxiety written brain that made that decision. Okay, you get a list of costumes. You have to make these costumes in three weeks before you go to the show. So you're kind of rushing. Clash of the patterns. The designer goes, Jan, I have an idea. We do houndstooth, we do polka dots we do an orange wig. So it's all clashing, right? None of it goes together, nothing looks good. And then she goes, okay, it is called Clash of the Patterns, but I don't know that it's necessarily what they want. Like, should I be wearing clashing patterns? Or like, should I just be wearing a pattern? Like, I don't know how to, can we make it both? Like, is there a way that I can make it so it looks like, you know what I mean? Like someone who was too afraid to take it too far, yeah. but also wanted to complete the assignment in case she read it wrong. Does that make sense? I don't know. I think she's focusing too much on the wrong things. I think anything she focuses on, I don't necessarily think she's focusing on the wrong thing. I think she will always focus too hard on anything. Mm. Yeah. So I, I think this is really cute. I don't think it's what the... I hated the Michelle note, can I say? What that was stupid. Like, when Michelle was like, I think you just should have lost the leggings. The I like leggings the were the only pattern clash uh, that was there. Yeah. I, exactly, which makes sense now, thinking about her anxiety-ridden brain. Like, I, I, Michelle. Have you seen the Pit Stop episode mm -mm. with Kennedy Davenport? She just goes like, black stockings, white shoes don't belong in the church. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. I love Jan. If I, I saw Jan. it in a picture, okay, if I saw it on Instagram. The song in the club. I or love it. Club, I'd scream. Let's talk about Ginger Minj's mm -hmm. costume. Now, I actually, I really do love this costume. Loved it. I really do love it. It was, it was like a Lisa Frank safari, safari. guy. Yeah. yeah. It was also not just, Cla that's what I loved about it too. It wasn't just Clash of the Patterns. It was like a character telling a story. Mm -hmm. Did she have a butterfly net? Did I make that up? She had something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she had something in her hand. We've seen a lot of her kind of over the top costumey type looks. 
that haven't been executed very well, in my opinion, for me. This was executed very well, but still reads as like extremely costumey yeah. and camp. I loved yeah. it. So cute. Uh, this jacket skirt combo is just so good. And the hat, to die for. Oh. the boots too, the custom the boots, painted. Yeah. It's all so good. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. To so good. die for. Hats off to you and your hat. No cap. <laughs> A curious C. Davenport wearing a <sighs> dash one up on the original. And this is such a clever take on the clashing patterns. Because it's an actual pattern. Because it's a pattern. Now we've seen this in a few different versions. Iterations. Iterations. Well. Yes, yes, thank you. Yes. Uh, of, of the kind of like deconstructed look. I think Valentina Patty Pam, Pam. had one. Patty Pam Pam. Oh, yeah. This is the best so we've seen oh, on the absolutely. runway. It is so good. The fucking, look, it's a pin cushion purse. The, the corset, the corset was measuring tapes. Hair was measuring tapes. Gosh darn it. She's not getting but a fair shake at this. Cause yeah. her, her, her runways are blowing everyone else out of the water. Yeah, that is the one thing I will say that like, well, not the one thing, I, I say like a lot of things, but <laughs> one of the things I will say is last week, I was upset that she was in the bottom in a Joshua Naponte masterpiece. Do you hear her barking? Mm -hmm. Dreaming. Those outfits, those costumes deserve some praise. And perhaps that was given to her and it was just edited out. But as an audience member, it is a little frustrating. Yeah, these show stopping costumes and her being in the bottom. So we have a winning group. It's the sex group. Yay, sex. Sex wins Yay, again. Sex, sex wins. That was clear, right? Yeah. yeah. That was absolutely clear. They had a really yeah. great panel. It was phenomenal. But then Swerve, she gave the win. To Ginger, to Minge. Ginger Minge. Now there's yeah. been some hubbub on the on the on some the trades hubbub. about why did she win? I want to say this. I think maybe she got extra points for dealing so well with a team that was maybe not as good. It's always harder to do. It's easy to do. It's easy to do your job of hosting with two other people who are great. It's harder when you have to host so with someone I who's not I often think of myself good. as the moderator of IMHO. Actually, for me, it's in moderation, it's homosexual. You, you got it. Yeah. And, you she know, as the moderator of the show, it is very it. difficult when I pivot to Chan and she makes a hilarious joke, just like off the cuff. How did she come up with that? I pivot to Alexis and she screams, come for the third time <laughs> in the last three and a half minutes. <laughs> it's that. difficult. And I loved how shocked Ginger looked. Yeah and how shocked she kind of looked throughout the rest of it as well, but we'll get to that. So that leaves the sex team safe and everyone else in the bottom. She did end up saving Pandora and Raja, mm -hmm. so they got sent to the back. So our bottom three, Jan, Kylie, Kylie and Scarlet. Scarlet. So that's a tough three. Yeah, very well, sad. Well, this is where we get the critique that RuPaul, Scarlet was doing that thing of like, <laughs> And RuPaul said, it kind of made me uncomfortable. Cause she, what she meant was like, you weren't really being real. You were going into this kind of like caricature of what you think a drag queen should be when a drag queen's trying to be funny. And that was one thing that Jan kind of honed in on as Scarlett tried to throw Jan under the bus. <laughs> yes. And say that Jan got the worst critiques. Jan might've got, yeah, that was funny. And notice Scarlett was omitting it. And everyone. Jan was like, yeah, I may have gotten the worst critiques overall from everyone, but from Mother, Mother, mother. said, you made me feel uncomfortable. Because <laughs> she can't, she mm. can't I just... Mother? Should I say yes, Mother? Should I say Mother? Mother. Hang on. Is that me? Mother. Mother. It was interesting to watch Jan struggle with not wanting to just come out right and say it to Ginger when they were having their one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. I love that Ginger brought deliver. it up. I love yeah. that. That was not a natural question. That question was insane. A producer absolutely told Ginger to ask, but that's a tough critique. RuPaul's like, your performance made me uncomfortable. Yikes. Well, you said it and we've all been feeling it. She's been, there's been hard to connect with Scarlett. Yeah. From the moment we met her, there's something it's about it. hard. Why is that? Because technically, she does good drag. She always looks great. She does fine in the challenges. Like, I, why? There's something what is that it? she's not. Yeah, something she's not comfortable with. You know what it is? It's there. because she has two moms. I think she said, so she's so uh, focused oh. on. Because we only have to focus on one mom. She has to focus on. She's two. thinking about her other mom. Okay. There's two Sherry's. Yes. She's trying to figure out which Sherry is which chair. You occupy you know fifty I mean? percent of your thoughts with your mom. Yeah. And then the rest is like. Is Sherry. World, world. The other Sherry. And then hers is. You think that's hundred percent Sherry? Girl, bye. Sherry, bye. <laughs> Sherry, bye. <laughs> 
Uh uh. You cut that out. Eliminated. Eliminated. Remember when they just cut her out for the entire <laughs> season? God, what a mess that God, was. Good. That God, was good. Uh, that was a weird omen until what 2020 was going about. <laughs> God. Yeah. Drag Race tried to warn us. We get them begging for their lives. Super fun to watch. Yes. And then Ginger has to choose. We get into one of the weirdest parts of the episode. Mm. Unexplained. Unexplainable, really. They lift up. Who's the lip sync assassin? Ginger, you ready? Ginger looked really cute, by the way. Ginger, you ready? Lift up, lift up. It's Bianca Del Rio. Everyone's Someone like, who has Bianca never had lip to lip sync. sync in her life. She doesn't do that. Which, like, that is a funny twist. Like, what a funny little moment. But then have it end with a purpose. Have it end with... It was so silly. She's providing a twist or she's... Make her lip sync. Make her do something. She just went to a parking lot or Michelle's porta potty or... <laughs> that was... It was, was like, weird. I did it right the first time. Really? I don't have to do it. But that was the best part was that she comes up, true, Ginger looks true. confused. Then she refuses to lip sync, Ginger looks confused. Then she walks off the stage, Ginger looks confused. And then they just immediately start raising the thing again for mayhem, and Ginger looks confused. I just, <laughs> I loved that Ginger the entire time was like, don't put me through this. Like, <laughs> we, this is my first win. Like, let me enjoy this. RuPaul said, ha ha, no. Then we get Mayhem Miller. Yeah. Who is it always turns the party? Yes, a lot of fun. She had those shingling of glasses and. She had those eyes. Oh, when Raja was doing her mayhem impression. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a great, yeah. great talent. It was a really good lip sync, I mm -hmm. thought. Ginger. To I phone by Lizzo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ginger killed oh, it. Oh, yeah. Ginger was. Ginger was going in. On it. Can I say this? Yeah. Take it in. Okay. It reminded me of an Auntie Chan lip sync because it has the comedic <sighs> element while also hitting every beat and adding little like quick moments of fun, wow. quirky dance. I really enjoyed it. Cute. It reminded me of you. Wow. And Mayhem reminded me of you. You know, like when you, um, you know, when you do all the things you do. I'll give you 2,500. Oh yeah, Ginger won and split her winnings with her team. That yeah. was so, that was so nice. That was really well, sweet. she didn't split her winnings. She, 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 she gave them a big like, chunk of She gave them a, a, like, a, a, like a pretty That's good a chunk, big chunk of money. money. Yeah. yeah. Which was super nice, especially for Jan, who was sitting there in the bottom all worried. And then it's like, I'm sorry you went through that, but here's $2,500. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much, Ginger. You are such a sweet, sweetheart. Oh. That was sweet. Which means she gets to send one person home and the queen that she sends home is Scarlet Envy. Ugh, don't envy mm. her. Out of those three, would you have chosen Scarlet as well? Yeah, because game-wise, when your fellow competitors can come back for you, mm -hmm. I think if they know that you're, you would turn in one of your teammates, that's bad. Oh, that's why. I would have just said, yeah, just because I don't connect to Scarlet. Oh, Kylie was God. like in that know, in that green girl. room, like you're not sending me home actually, and I'm gonna be loud about it, and you'd be here. so silly if you sent me yeah. home actually, and yeah. everyone would hate you. And I love it, and she was like, I'm not just here as a transgender girl, like I'm here because I've worked fucking hard and I deserve to be here, and I was like, yes, yes. So goodbye, Scarlet. Goodbye, Scarlet. Love you. We wish you the best in whatever it is that you do. Oh, I will say we did get to see her biological Sherry, not her her step Sherry. She oh, looks yeah. just like her mom. Mm. Good job, biological Sherry. See how Sherry. it happens. Yeah, Good. you did it. And that was the episode of RuPaul's Drag Race, uh, Ta -da! season six, episode six. We did it. Oh, are we, we at the through. halfway point yet? I think so. Yeah, it's usually like what, twelve episodes? We're, yeah, Work. we're halfway through. Okay, we're halfway there. Oh, oh eating on a chair. You know what? I had bad headphones when that song came out in the early '80s. <laughs> so. Thank you so much for watching. It is my birthday week, so <gasps> if you would like to pay homage to me in monetary ways, you can absolutely do so on our Venmo, PayPal, or Cash App. Just put for Darby. Happy birthday, Darby. Oh my God, you look so Make young. it rain, make it rain, Are make you it really make 30? Make it rain, girl. Or the twink. She needs to buy a new twink, sheen twink, twink, haul. Twink. And... Yeah, I would love to buy more like insanely ugly dresses. I would absolutely love that. Uh, so make sure you do that. Yes, and if you love this video, you can share it with your friends or comments on it. You can be vile in the comments. It won't affect us, kind of. <laughs> it might. It depends on the day. Well. Share it with an enemy. Share it with an enemy. Have and you ever shared our videos with someone you hate? 
Hey, I've been working on hey, this Dad. project, Dad. Watch me be a faggot lady. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, join us over on Patreon. We have a Discord. We have tons of fun, a podcast, everything. Also, we're all on Cameo individually. Or you can get a Shamio from all three of us if you go to imhotheshow.com backslash forward slash forward slash, slash, forward slash all right we will see you next week <laughs> goodbye all star the gums built like a rollades watch what i'm just saying words rolex. Like, what are <laughs> like what a rolades